Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about how to interpret the Minitab capability six pack. And, you know, if you're in the, uh, you know, continuous improvement business or, you know, a quality practitioner and uh, you're using Minitab, this is just a great tool to kind of help uh, understand the process. Okay, so you can find this if you're using Minitab under stats, quality tools, and I believe it's capability six pack. And what it does is provides a very, very nice condensed report, you know, with some very, very key uh, elements to describe a process. So here's just an example. And, you know, it's kind of uh, partitioned into two pieces. So, you know, kind of on the, so we draw, draw a line there on the left side here is kind of the control chart piece. So this talks about predictability and, you know, kind of, you know, how stable your process is. And then over here on this side is more of the capability uh, part of it. So how well is your process conforming to some kind of requirement? So for example, here we have an individual's chart and, and you can also change these up in Minitab too. For example, you can do an individual's chart or if you're subgrouping, stuff like that, you can just change the parameters. But you know, basically here we have some process and we have a control chart and it'll kind of tell us, you know, how stable we are, you know, how predictable the process is. And there's also sensitization rules that you can apply. And in this case, I think we've only used uh, the, the rule of anything plus or minus, you know, three standard deviations away from the, the center line. So a couple of out of control points here. You know, if you were to apply more rules, you might find some, you know, trends in here or something like that. But for the most part, you know, you could say, yeah, maybe this process is, is somewhat stable here. The next part, uh, which accompanies this chart, is the moving range chart. So, you know, what the moving range chart does is it calculates the variability of your process based on comparing consecutive data points and then taking the absolute difference and then plotting them out. So this helps with what's called uh, developing short-term standard deviation or capability and you know applying some formulas and so forth to this to this data here you can actually establish you know your control limits here so these control limits along with the center line which is the process average you know kind of describe the process as it's running and kind of um, you know show what the natural variability of the system is and this is important if we want to understand, you know, assignable versus, you know, common causes of uh, variability and so forth. And then the last chart here is just taking the last, you know, 25 observations or so and just kind of expanding them out so we can just kind of see in a little bit better detail uh, what's going on in, in the most recent history of that process. Now on the right side here is the capability part. So this is the output compared to some, let's say, specification limit or, or requirement or whatever. And again, you can input all the parameters in Minitab and uh, tell, tell, the, you know, tell Minitab what the lower and upper spec limits are and all that kind of stuff here. So here we have the first thing is the capability histogram. Basically, it's just taking this data here and plotting it out as a histogram. So it has a lower and upper specification limit, so you can kind of see what's going on. And in this example, you can see that quite a bit of the process is not meeting requirements. Uh, it's also important to note here that specification limits are not the same as control limits. And a lot of people get those two confused. You also get confused the fact that, you know, if a process is capable, in other words, it's really meeting requirements, that it must be in control. So that's not necessarily true. You can have a process that's out of control, still meeting requirements, or a process that's not meeting requirements and, you know, can be in control, you know, or, or various combinations. So you really need both pieces of the puzzle to understand the bigger picture. You need the control chart to understand stability, and then this histogram to understand the capability uh, related to some requirements. And, you know, it also has, um, you know, some, uh, you know, what the spec limits are here and, uh, you know, kind of a little bit of a distribution 
of what the data should look like. Okay. The next part here is the normal probability plot, and you know basically this is testing to see whether the data you know follows that kind of bell-shaped curve. And Minitab uses this Anderson-Darling statistic and uh, does a hypothesis test. This p-value is less than 0 0.05. It usually means that normality is not present, so you have to look for um, skewness in the data or something like that. But you really don't have to worry too much about those values, just look at this probability plot, and if the data values fall on a straight line like that, you know, it's, it's pretty well normally distributed. And you can actually confirm this with the histogram here. You know, they give two pictures of the same data. Uh, sometimes you might see something weird, like the data points, you know, might go like that, you know, kind of this curve thing. In that case, it might in indicate skewness and so forth. You know, when you have that kind of skewness and so forth in the data, then your estimates, you know, of your, you know, average and standard deviation can be off and they can affect your capability measures quite a bit. The last part is the capability plot. And we have two sets of statistics. One is the with uh, CP and CPK based on within variability and P PP and PPK based on overall variability. So a lot of people get you know confused here too. So CPK is based on short-term variability. Basically, it's the variability that comes from this range chart here. So the range chart is really supposed to you know estimate variability of a process in such a way that it's not taking into account large fluctuations that might be seen in the data here. So that's kind of the what's called short-term variability. And the overall or long-term variability is based on the entire data set, you know, lumped together, all the different shifts in there, all the variability, and calculating a standard deviation. And, you know, typically the standard deviation for long-term is a little bit larger. You know, if your process is, you know, in perfect control, you know, the short-term and long-term should be roughly the same. But typically, the long-term variability is a little bit larger because you're including a lot more, you know, variability that might be occurring in the data. And from those measures, you can calculate uh, CPK, for example, and also parts per million out. So here you can see that, you know, parts per million out is about 330,000. So about a third of the process is not meeting requirements. And uh, which, you know, it's pretty obvious from this histogram that it's not meeting requirements. And if you use the overall measure, it's a little bit higher, about 412,000 you know, parts or, or whatever are not meeting specification given a million, you know, pieces of something you're making or whatever. This is just a way to kind of help, you know, the user understand, you know, how much is actually out. And there's even a little uh, graphic here. You know, it shows the specification limits here, and then an estimate based on within variability. So you can compare and see that the using within variability measure that it's not even close to meeting specifications. And again, the overall, you know, that's a long-term piece, is even wider yet. So, you know, this process definitely definitely has some issues with uh, capability or meeting requirements. So that is basically the Minitab Capability Six Pack, a very, very nice report, you know, one page report that you can really use to triage a process. Uh, we have another video that shows how to triage a process, and this would be a great tool to use with that, uh, with that other video as well. Uh, if you don't have Minitab, you can probably cobble something together in, you know, let's say R, for example. Yeah, you have all the, you know, key pieces you need. You know, the control chart piece, last observations, capability histogram, normal probability plot, and then a capability plot. So, again, if you don't have Minitab, you could probably put some together here. Uh, if you have Minitab, this is a really, really great tool to use and uh, something that you can really help allocate resources on what's going on. I hope that helps, and uh, we'll talk to you again.